taking me to larvae in the vertical burrows in the ground uh, in the temperate zones, while in the tropics they may use structures like trees and things like that. Uh, this is an example of a third instar larval burrow of Cicindella pulchra. Now right now the larva, oh, there he is. Uh, this, he popped his head up on, he or she, popped his head up, its head up. Uh, actually it's the head and the pronotum, the pronotum being that kind of the rear half you can see. So on the left side you can see the mandibles, uh, two sets of eyes, and then the plate on the back half is the pronotum. And these larvae will sit motionless, kind of like manhole cover you can see right here at the surface of the soil, and sit motionless and wait for prey to stumble by, and they will strike very quickly, typically backwards. Uh, if they need to sit like this for minutes, hours at a time, that's pretty much their life. They sometimes probably go many days without a meal. When they do get a meal then, hopefully it's substantial enough. And I'm going to zoom in a little more on this one. Hopefully it'll focus. Well, as I feared, it doesn't quite want to focus that range. But, you know, going out of focus apparently. But unless I disturb this one, now I could use my finger or something. I mean, it was kind of fun, this little piece of sagebrush, a little twig, where I am going to disturb him as if it was prey. And you can see he's striking. Oh, hit it again. Uh, he's not very far down. I can see his head and actually his next door neighbor popped up. His or her. Don't know yet. But here you can see there's a next door neighbor right there. They wore camouflage. Insects don't notice them. They sit at the surface like that. There you can see this one just sitting, waiting, motionless. Uh, I could probably tease this one as well and see what it does. See if it strikes. If this was a little insect stumbling along, yep, he grabbed it. Uh, if you disturb enough, they'll just go into their burrow. Uh, this guy's probably. This one's probably getting used to my harassment. I've been bugging these guys for a little while. And, well, this is a really good site for Sissendel pulchra. You can see there's a couple burrows there. A lot of burrows in the area. If I pan this around, I don't know, it's kind of hard to see, but there is a little second instar right just behind the rock. I think you can see it right there. You can zoom back out uh, right over in this spot, uh, just over here, there are a couple more second instars. Let's see exactly where. I'm not seeing them. Perhaps you do. Up, oh, yep, right there. There are a couple. And yeah, plenty more in the area. Obviously, these two larvae are getting tired of my being here and they're just starting to not care. Normally, tiger beetle larvae are quite skittish, but in this case, it appears find them. Uh, they blend in with the soil so well, they are right below me and I don't even notice them. You probably see them in the camera somewhere. Ah yes, there they are. Two next door neighbors there. And again, they will simply sit, oh this is almost like Blair Witch Project unless I use a tripod properly. Uh, so again, you can see them just sitting waiting motionless. Typically what target beetle larvae do, the adults much more colorful. You've seen some of my other footage of this particular species. Uh, beautiful large species that can actually pinch. Uh, I don't know if I can use one of these larvae into pinching me. Maybe use my finger. Oh, didn't like my finger. Obviously it exceeds their size threshold between prey and potential predator. So with that I will close and enjoy.